Welcome back to the craft room. I am so glad that you guys were able to join me today. As you can see, I brought my rocking chair back into my craft room. I do still have my rolly chair. It's sitting over there by the door. The way I have these shelves and stuff now makes it a lot easier to have my rocking chair. However, it does kind of block the window and I don't get that breeze like I do if I sit in my rolly chair. But that's okay. So I'm going to put these down. <laughs> I moved them. I'm going to put these down. Because it could be dangerous. But anyway, I thought I would share with you a little bit about what I have been working on. And then we shall work on one of my projects together for just a little bit. So the first thing that I've been working on, and my chair is going to squeak. And I showed this to you guys. I've done a little bit, but not a whole lot. And, uh, my craft cradle's not big enough. This is my craft room project. It is in my craft cradle. <laughs> I'm using the Caron one pound. It's all tangled up. This is like Royal, I think. Royalty it is a blue color. And the other color is a yellow color. It is um, sunflower. And these two big balls of yarn were gifted to me. Thank you to the person who gifted them. I said that last time too. But Caron is like soft. It is a nice change from the scratchy red heart that I've been doing. But in this is I have a loom knit project. And that's what I've been doing with this. I've just been doing this as a craft room thing where I don't have to think about anything. Or I can just come in here and sit down and relax. I have a little radio here. This is a battery operated radio. It used to belong to one of my boys. But they don't want it. They probably forgot they even had it. But I have it sitting here in my craft room. And I will come down here and turn on either the public, what, KRPS public radio station. Or there is a, and I don't know the channel call numbers or letters for it. But it's a Christian radio station that usually it's a talk show by the time I get down here. But I will listen to one of those two and just sit here and relax and work on my loom knit hat but blue and gold does happen to be our local school colors which is pretty cool and that's what this is you can see I put the two together and I am looming and almost halfway with the brim a little bit farther and I can turn it up and you know do that so that's one of the projects that I am working on it is just a craft room project, so it usually goes a little bit slower than the other projects that I do. The second project that I am working on, which obviously you all know is a hat, because I recently finished um, the hats that I were working, well, the crochet hats, the uh, ribbed ones, that is my go-to hat right now. That is the one I am making a bunch of because I've got the pattern memorized now and it takes no time at all, usually a couple days, two, three days, for me to whip out a hat. But this yarn, I don't know if you can see, let me, it's a little better. It's got a little bit of a shiny to it. There's like a little white metallic thread that is going through it. I hope you can see that on the camera. But anyway, it's been sitting over here on this shelf with like the baby yarns and stuff but I don't think it's a baby yarn I am treating it as a regular four weight yarn and I am using a hook that is not here with my project it fell down on my bag apparently I didn't I started this the other night here in my craft room there it is and I didn't have my bag with me so I grabbed this five millimeter wooden hook that I had up here in my cup and that's what I started using this with and it, I think it's working out really well. So this is what I have. I am now past the increase part and I am just doing the body of the hat. That's what I have. I'm going to push that aside again. Really cool. I love it. And it is soft. Pretty soft. So somebody's going to be super excited about it and I did use my tip before I stuck it in my bag this time. I put my stitch marker in there. The other thing that I have started is I was using this 
um, Rebound, Lion Brand Rebound, which it is buried. There it is. It is a nylon yarn, and it is interesting to work with. It is very stretchy. I don't know if you've worked with it before, but it's interesting. Um, it's one that Ella gifted me when I was able to visit her back in March when we took our vacation. But I started another hat with it. I haven't made it too far. Like I said, I have to be really careful because this hat's going to be super stretchy anyway because of the yarn. But I am using the eye hook that I have used with the rest of my hats. I don't like the openness up here at the top, but it'll probably be okay once the rest of the hat is finished. And I'm on my... I think I'm getting ready to start my second... Yeah, I'm getting ready to start my second um, rib for the increase on my hat. But I think this is going to be really super cool when I get it done. I can't wait. And this too is a very soft yarn. So I'm going to put these two back in my bag, which note with this one, I did not put the stitch marker in <laughs> and I stuck it in my bag. But anyway, I did a little bit of recording the other night for you guys. I'm going to try and fix it to where you can't watch me chewing gum because I was sitting here just, you know, going to town on chewing my gum. But it's when I was working on the increased part of this hat. So I'm going to put that here at the end of this clip and let you guys enjoy working with me on my project on this wonderful Wednesday. So I want to thank you guys for joining me here in the craft room and check back with me because I have a garden update for you. It might not be as good as you're expecting, but I do have a garden update for you and I will try to get that up either tomorrow or Friday.